Good evening. I think you've realized that people have stopped respecting that phrase, pay attention, please. Think of the last time you boarded an airplane when the aerostase asked you to pay attention to the safety announcement. Have you noticed how very few people look up from their screens trying to read that last message or type that last message? The same happens on a train or an airport. And you might say, well, these are public places. People don't really pay attention to that. But the same thing happens in meetings. The same thing happens at the dinner table. The same thing happened in this hall. I was sitting up there for the whole evening, and through every speaker's talk, there were several people in the audience that couldn't resist just glancing down at that screen. I even saw Facebook a few times while uh, talks were going on. You think to yourself, well, this is normal, but I can tell you this hasn't always been the case. You know, especially for those of us older than 30, we can remember when that phrase, attention, please, actually meant something. What has brought this about? Uh, it has been brought about by a war for our attention. Uh, we're constantly being bombarded by different devices and different types of media, content, messages fighting for our attention. You know, there's smartphones, smart watches, tablets, laptops, television, all giving us content, information, messages, fighting for our attention on a continuous basis. We heard earlier this evening how the mobile phone, the smartphone, will keep dominating the center of our lives. I don't disagree with that message, but I do believe that the television will continue to play an important part of our lives as well. I attended a conference last week which was focused around IPTV, and it struck me that several of the speakers during that conference made the statement, the big screen in the home is dead, the television is dead. So let me first do a quick poll by show of hands. Who's come across that statement through something you've read or something you've heard? Ah, uh, see, yeah, quite a lot, almost the entire audience. Now I'll change the question slightly. Who of you actually believe that? Who believes the television is dead? Yeah, quite a few. I think this is a biased audience. We're in Hilversum, a lot of people working in television. Um, jokes aside, the television has, for the last four decades, been a very important point in our lives. It's given us entertainment, it's given us education, and it's given us information. And you might think that the television is a static component uh, in this war for our attention, but it's not. Television has persistently transformed itself over this period. Think of the obvious ones, black and white to color, those big CRT screens to flat panels, standard definition to high definition and then some not so good transformations like 3D. The latest transformation, Ultra HD, which some of you incorrectly refer to as 4K, but we'll put that aside, that's the fault of the marketeers, is the next transformation. And I believe this transformation is what will keep television alive and well going forward. I think most of you obviously heard about Ultra HD by now. I think most of you have probably seen it. You just need to walk into any of the big stores and you will see lines of Ultra HD televisions. I think most of you will probably think Ultra HD is just a better picture. It's more than just a better picture. It's not just four times the resolution of HD more frames, and uh, more colors. Those are the technical things that the salesman in the store will tell you. Ultra HD is actually the transformation that will keep television alive. The television has gone through a number of those transformations, as I said. And the secret of Ultra HD is actually something that you come across 
when you read about it often, you come across the phrase immersive experience. I'll repeat that, immersive experience. And I'll demonstrate it with one simple trend. When televisions came out, they were small. Over time, the screens became bigger. And as the screens became bigger, we moved further away from that until Ultra HD came along. For the first time, that trend has been broken and screens are continuing to get bigger, but we're moving closer to the screen again. And the reason for that is Ultra HD gives you that extra level of detail that you want to move closer to the screen. You want to see the detail in the picture because you get immersed in the picture, immersed in the scene and immersed in the story. It is this very simple yet fundamental trend change that I think will show that television is still alive and well and will continue to take us into other worlds. Thank you.